Hey everybody, this is Ms. Rex9, and you are on Daily Rambles. So, um, this is going to be a new one. Um, um, we're doing Pretty Little Liars tonight. And if you can tell, I've been writing the absolute crap out of this. Uh, I mean, just so much has happened happened on the show. And I've been a fan of the show ooh, for like, I don't know, like six years. I wasn't really into it the first year until I went to California back in... 2012, so yeah, five years, or 2011, six years, yeah. So, and while my cousin was at work, and you know, I had nothing to do, no car, or anything. So I literally just there was a marathon on TV for Pretty Liars, and I got hooked. And uh, so I decided to do a synopsis for season seven, the final few episodes, because. Why not? I like the show. Might as well do some analysis on it. And I like doing these now. They're actually kind of fun to do, to be honest. But anyway, so we're just going to jump into it. They had a little bit of a recap that what happened for last week. So if, uh, for people who do not know, um, A or AD has a game for the girls to play. And Lucas has a comment from the previous episode that details the torture of girls that were making fun of the main character in the comic book. So that's why he um, was looking for it and stuff and couldn't find it. And then so Arya betrays the group because apparently there's some paperwork that could put Ezra in jail. So that's why she's helping A out. And so now we just want to jump into the actual episode. Where Allie is having Emily's baby. Another recap. And then Spencer is at the police station. And she's getting grilled by some guy. I think his name is Bernie. So, okay, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, so they're asking her, grilling her about questions about um, the night that Arthur Dunhill died. I don't remember the actual fake name that he used, but I don't remember Arthur Dunhill's the actual guy's name that was married to Allie, that was secretly in love with Charlotte, and then he went on a warpath and married Allie, and then injected her with Emily's baby from a random sperm donor. So, but fine. So then Marco steps in after um, they get done interrogating Spencer, the first guy. So Marco comes in, he's a detective on the show. And it starts telling her, like, look, I'm going to have evidence soon, so you better lawyer up. So then we jump to Aria, um, not Aria's, but em dang, Allison's house. There we go. And Emily surprises Allie's old room with, like, a baby room, which actually looks really neat and cool. So then they jump to... Arya and Ezra discuss the wedding for just like a little bit, little bit, and then they jump to how Spencer was again interrogated at the police station. So she realized she messed up because she is very flashbacks because she was super drunk, and so she used Arthur Dunhill's uh, credit card to pay for the drinks and signed her name, which was not smart, but hey. And so, so Hannah says she'll steal the receipt from the Radley. And then Ezra um, gets pressure from her publisher, agent, and it has to do a book tour. And so they had to put pressure on that because she, the editor lady does not want Arya in the actual place while they're talking about the book because it's about her, his ex-girlfriend, Nicole. So, let's see, okay, so out of the pressure work, we go into Aria has to get a homework, which is like some type of random, like, hard drive that has, like, a Patsy Klein song on it. I'm like, okay. So then, Spencer as stupid, because, um, she goes straight to Marco. Like, why are you always reading to Marco trying to plead with him, saying, please don't turn me if you ever like me, blah, 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 blah. And he says no. She's crushed by it, but she still has a thumb drive. 
So then on the thumb drive, it says Lucas backtracking his confession and saying, um, I don't know where Hannah was that night that Arthur Dunhill died. And then it just puts all the people not in a good light whatsoever, so it's not great. And he also has a comment that um, Hannah thought was stolen. Apparently he just took it back. Then Allie gets in a fight with Emily about not taking vitamins and then it's like getting cold feet and da 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 da. Then Mona and Hannah have a moment where Mona offers to help. Then, um, so she does, but they can't tell everybody else because no one really trusts Mona because of the whole thing that Mona's been doing. But it's been years since she's actually done anything like malicious to them. So, um, Hannah drives off the computer, on the hard drive. Then Arya on um, 18, she rips up Ailey's, Allie's baby room. Like, save blood and like ripping up stuff, breaking things all around the room. But Allie and Emily get home early because Allie gets tripped. And so they come back early because they were playing sick out at the school trying to figure out who A is, but they never figured that out because they decided to have a conversation at that t moment. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> then we're going to jump. So basically what happened was Arya's upstairs ripping up stuff. They come home early and she basically has to try to bolt from the house as quick as possible and she gets stuck in a couple of places. So Emily hears something upstairs so she tries to grab a candlestick which is like a classic weapon in TV shows for some reason. I've seen on like I don't know how many TV shows. I'm just like, okay. So anyway, <clears throat> but um, Arya gets away and you know Emily's looking around but can't find anybody because Arya escaped. So area, uh, um, so Ezra is at the book fair, uh, book fair, <laughs> book, well, I don't know what you call it, the promotion, at the promotion for his book, gives, um, Arya a shout out saying that basically she helped, um, finish the book and co-wrote it and all this type of stuff, so, but Arya drops her earring while she was ripping up the room and Spencer found it and I think so they're starting to suspect Arya a little bit. So that's going to be interesting where that storyline goes. I'm very interested in that. Then Caleb uh, goes as a bet to the Radley. So Caleb shut down the computers for 10 minutes before, if it's any longer, they get um, busted because the uh, security team will be notified, hey, it's been more than 10 minutes. Something's wrong. So Hannah tries to go in there and tries to sell her seat. She can't find it. So Kayla comes in, knocks over all the receipts from two boxes, and then busts the water line and basically floods it on the bottom of the room where he dumps the receipts. And so now they can't be read because they're all messed up. So there does. So that happens. And when he was turning on the computer, on uh, the security cameras back. Lucas is walking through and knocks on the door, but no one's there, so he leaves. So then Spencer uh, black smells Mar uh, Marco because he's asked where the thumb drives is, and, and she said, "Isn't it suspicious that I was at your house alone? What would that look like in the courtroom?" So they just hang up. Then Lucas is back at the apartment. He's mad. He's search searching for something. And then we find out he and Charles were friends and that they only emailed each other in high school. And he didn't know he was a she in that whole ordeal and that he she was torturing the pe the girls. And so then... And then... There was a second book and the second book is missing. So we don't know where the second book is at this point. And then Lucas spent all his money on Hannah. He's basically the sole investor, and she feels kind of bad about it. But um, he said, it's no problem. I'll get it all back. It's no big deal. And, you know, so 
the investors just didn't work out. Then we cut to Arya, who I think feels really guilty about what she did. She sees this huge gash on her arm, and then lays down, starts to cry really bad. Then we cut to A, and always has a creeper ending, all the all the time. So basically, A has a second book and starts drawing on it, and it has like starts drawing this big tree, and then starts drawing a tombstone, and it says "Here lies," and that's where it cuts off. I was like, I hate those type of endings. They are always like that. But I'm excited to see what's going to happen with the end of the um, series and how they're going to wrap it up because I think it will be super interesting on what happens. They didn't really show a preview for next week. It was like a couple quick blurps here and there. But anyway, really good episode. It was also a good episode. There's a lot of stupidity in it, admittedly. But it was, it was good. So I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't like not watchable. So... It was really good, but they could, they just could have done it a little bit better, but really good episode. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment with down below what you liked and didn't like about the episode and how you think I did on it, on the review and the synopsis. I'm still very new at this, and I know my set is not great, hence not great lights or anything, but I'm trying, so. And if you like it, please Again, like and subscribe, and also do music reviews, also do movies, and I do other TV shows. So, if you want to need to do reviews on other shows, let me know what you think. What should I do down below? Because I'll probably do it. And I think I might go through, go back through and do Arrow, but I'm not sure yet. But I'll decide on that. All right, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.